My name is Adam Knapp. I've been a journalist my whole adult life. And I love to tell meaningful stories. When I was a sports writer, a woman tipped me off about Bert Humburg. This kid was a different level of smart. Before there was Google, people just went to Bert. When he was young, he and his family lost their home in a tornado. His father suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, had a heart attack, and died. Uh, it was about this time in his life Bert decided to go out for the football team. Uh, as intelligent as Bert was, though, he wasn't an athlete. Decided to go out for football anyway. His questions were taking up practice time, not of exasperation. One of his coaches kind of half-jokingly suggested, Bert, why don't you buy a book on how to play football? And Bert did exactly that. He's nothing if not analytical. He not only read the book, he completely broke it down and applied it to himself. He got a football scholarship and turned himself into an all-American lineman at Southwestern College, which is when I wrote his story about triumph over tragedy. So, fast forward a few years. I'm still a journalist. Bert's now a physician and a proud homosexual. So, being the storyteller I am, I contacted Bert and asked if he would want to do a follow-up article telling about his experience of coming out of the closet in the middle of the Bible Belt. Well, luckily for me, Bert loved the idea. He grew up in a deeply religious household. He can quote the Bible with anyone I know. And he knew and he felt homosexuality was a sin, but he's attracted to men. He just does not feel he can change that. So as I'm interviewing him for this follow-up article, I realize Bert's family pastor is Joe Wright, who was instrumental in making gay marriage illegal in Kansas. Pastor Joe doesn't believe a person is born gay any more than he believes someone's born a gambler or a fornicator. So as I'm speaking to Pastor Joe, he expresses his desire to talk to Bert about this in person. I thought, wow, wouldn't I want to be a fly on the wall for that? And then I thought, well, I don't have to be a fly on the wall. I know people. We can make this happen. We can make it into a short film. And maybe we can help certain Christians and certain homosexuals understand each other a little more and start tearing each other apart a little less. And that's my goal. And I hope you will support us in the making of our documentary out here in Kansas.